me and my baby sitting here watching TV, and this dude gets up on Waters World and starts trying to explain why these football players are out there protesting that they ain't protesting the national anthem, they ain't disrespecting it. That what was it they said, baby? They're praying. What what else would it do? They're they're gonna allow them to do it? Yeah. You know what she told me? I'm gonna get her to tell you. No. It, it, well, she don't want to tell you, but I'm going to tell you because this makes all the sense in the world. You tell me why in God's name they're going to let a bunch of football players get down there and bow and kneel and pray when they find T Tim Tebow for doing it in the end zone. Uh, that boy right there on TV, he, he ain't got a lick sense. He don't know what he's talking about. So you want to sit there and tell me a bunch of men bowing? To, you know what? You know what? Getting on one knee and putting your head down means disrespect. That's what it means. Submission, or not even submission, it's disrespect. Turn your head away, put your eyes on the ground. They were on one knee, had your head down. I didn't see no hands folded, they had their arms locked. Now, if they're praying, the NFL needs to fire every one of them for praying on the football field. Do them just like they did Tim Tebow. Making every excuse in the world now because it's starting to hurt them. Starting to get in their pocketbooks. Now it's, oh, we're not, we're not against the national anthem. Even though old uh, Kaepernick or Nick or whatever his name is. Got up there and, and said that national anthem was racist. That's what he was doing it for. That's why they're doing it now is in solidarity with Capper Hick or whatever his name is. <laughs> they're trying to weasel the way out of it now. I hope they all go broke. I do. I hope they all go broke. 